Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're coming across an SRT trail.txt log error on your Windows computer. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first things first, if you're able to boot into Windows, I'm going to show you guys how to get into the recovery menu options. If you're unable to boot into Windows, you want to do a hard power off three times in a row, meaning let your computer turn on, and then press and hold on your power button for a few seconds until your screen turns black, and then repeat that two more times. If you still are unable to launch into the recovery menu, you want to go then down the Windows 10 ISO file and boot it to a DVD or USB flash drive. I have a tutorial on my channel on how to do that. You can also search for it online. It's a very self-guided method. It doesn't take too much effort to do it. So we're just going to go ahead and jump right into it. And assuming you're able to boot to the desktop, which I'm not sure all you guys will be able to, but it's just the method that I'm going to begin with. So if you guys can get to it through the other two ways I mentioned, feel free. So again, do a hard power off three times in a row, or through the Windows 10 Media Creation Utility and then booting your computer from it. Instead of selecting install, you select repair my computer. So either one of those methods is fine as well, but from our desktop here, we're going to go open up the start menu. I'm going to left click on the power icon, and then I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard. So again, I'm holding down the shift key, and then I'm going to left click on restart. Underneath choose an option, you want to select troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options, and then select advanced options once more. Select command prompt from this list. So you want to select your user account here. So I'm going to go select my account name. If you have a password linked to your account, you're going to enter that in. Otherwise, go ahead and select continue. So I don't actually have a password linked to my account. Now into this command prompt, I'm going to type in chk dsk space forward slash f, another space forward slash r, followed by another space. And now I'm going to type in my drive letter that Windows is installed on, which is my C drive. So if for some reason you get an error here and it doesn't let you run the command, it, your drive is probably not the C drive. So you want to try different letters such as D, E, A, C, anything really, anything from A to Z, to be honest. So I'll just type the letter C and I'm going to follow that up with a colon, which is basically one dot on top of another dot. So you just would left click on the shift key and the key next to the L key in order to create that colon. And then you're going to hit enter. So give this a couple minutes to run here.
So once that's done, close out of here. We we'll suggest restarting your computer and see if that's resolved your problem. If you're still having an issue, you can select troubleshoot and then select other options in here as well, such as start or repair, system restore, as well as going down and install updates, and then you can try rolling back the most recently created updates. So I just want to put a couple different methods out there for you guys to try. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out, and as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.